In this first video, we will detail with the picking hand teaching my break to bluegrass breakdown. If you have any questions about the fretting hand, uh, see video two, which was posted earlier. Uh, I think as some of you know, my banjo has been out of commission for quite some time and I'm finally getting to video one. So uh, excuse the lack of sequence, but we work with what we can. Uh, first, let's get in tune for this break. Start with the uh, D string, fourth. First string, D as well. G string. comments in my video, by the way, about the G string. Fifth string G as well. And the B string. Oh, that was loud. Bluegrass Breakdown, we'll play it fast, and uh, as fast as I can, and we'll play it slower, and then work over any of the little tidbits and questions that we always do in the videos. Here we go on Bluegrass Breakdown, 21st century take. slower it would sound something like this. So it starts off with the typical pinch, as a lot of bluegrass breakdown type songs start. And as detailed in video two, there's this 
ignoring the chromaticism there and focusing on the roll, it's of course index, index, thumb, IMT, TIMT, TIMT, and then it's the same thing three times. I, I, You can use your. And so to recap, and already half the uh, break is over at that point. The uh, F chord, which is actually. Um, F6, you hit the fourth string with the thumb pick. It's very much like, like this lick that, that Jim Mills plays. And I don't like to be using the, the joint of the thumb to slap at it. You don't get quite the... Uh, aggressive tone that you would if you actually use a little bit of wrist. And if you notice as I'm playing, I use just a very slight amount of wrist there. That it partially explains why I have my wrist arched the way I do, because I can kind of push into the head like that. It, it takes some some getting used to. Because Earl uh, played more with his hand like like this, but because of my my, my fingers just work, uh, I do it the way it comes easiest for me, and um, that's really how I do it. Is I just put a little wrist into it, and really it 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 saves your thumb having to work too hard. The thumb actually remains kind of immobile, and you're doing the work more with your wrist than than the actual finger, and I think that just kind of is an economy of motion, in my opinion, but uh, I don't think I can actually demonstrate how I do it. I, I do it subconsciously. I guess it's just kind of a, I know what sound I prefer, I want, and I, I just go about doing it, but... It's kind of a simultaneous thing with the thumb working in tandem with the wrist a little bit. You can see I'm moving a little bit. Like right there, There's two thumbs at the end of that, so you have the um, and that's the F chord that's repeated twice. Right there is just a transition lick between the F chords. The first F chord has this as a translation, a transition, excuse me. And that is And the second time we have this Bill Emerson I T I T I T I T I And then the song closes out with I'm not too concerned with the fill that comes after the two F chords in the A section. Um, really ends up being personal taste. Because the song has more of a... 
more of a modal character, I tend to try to stay in that, but you don't necessarily have to. So to recap the entire A section, play it slow once more and showing all the things that we work. The the kickoff with the the uh, Scruggs type roll and the two F chords plus their two transition sections. Now, the second A part re is really just the same. You can vary it if you want, but uh, you can also play the same way if you want to. And the only difference I would do there is a, a rake. And continue into the same material. And so really, you're coming off of the first A section. really just doing a bunch of pinches, so... And on that fourth, the second pinch, the second pinch doubles for the rake, so, you know, Scruggs would have just... On that final pinch, I put the rake, so you have... And then continue with the other two hammer-ons. And so in context of the song, it would sound like this. Right there. Moving on to the B section, we leave A2 with the same fill. no rake, we do those two pinches, and following them... And really all that is, is it's Foggy Mountain Breakdown roll with different chords. So you have I, so you have I, I, Excuse me. I I M T I M T I I M T I M T I I M T I M T I I M T I M T. And so really it's just a, a sequence of two I and T I M T I M really is all it is. And that, that continues throughout the E flat, B flat. F sharp and G. And so to recap, you have I, I, M, T, I, M, T, I, I, M, T, 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 I, M, T,
roll material that begins the B section to the C chord, which begins on the thumb, you want to sequence your rolls to not run into a double thumbing or a double indexing of that, so you run into trouble. And so when I come off of the um, material that stands for the G chord of the B section, back to the fifth string, the final time that I play that, I go backwards. So I'm going I, I, M, T, I, M, I. That gives me time to move up with my thumb to play T, T, to play those chords, the C suspended in C. And so to recap this beginning section of the B part, we have the Foggy Mountain roll through several chords. Then you go up with your thumb. And that's the only time you play that, that double thumb roll. Following those two chords, you go up back to the Foggy Mountain roll again. Then you have a pinch for the C chord up the neck. And that closes out the break. And so following that T, T, I, M, T, I, M, T, T, I, M, T, I, M, you go I, I, M, T, I, M, T, pinch, I, M, T, I, M, T. Again, from the C suspended, uh, T, T, So you're switching from the thumb leading to the index leading. And then of course it closes out with the C chord. Just a C minor. And then the melodic lick is really just I M P uh, T I M P M I P I M T I and that's all it is, is a forward-backward roll. T-I-M-T-M-I-T-I-M-T-M-I. Up to speed it would sound like this. Again, even slower. Now this is a lot to, to remember, and so I will go through the entire song once more, uh, A parts and B parts, showing what we've all just gone over, <clears throat> playing as slow as I can.
my third string was going up terribly during that. But that's the whole break. If you have any questions, uh, rewind the video and listen to the break up to tempo and slower earlier on, or visit any of the, the vignettes that we've dealt with, or leave me a comment, or shoot me an email, and I will get back to you and answer your questions the best I can. Appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.